Hi, this is Chris with WCI Consulting, and today we're going to go over a common question that we get is actually, what is a data warehouse, a data mart, and a reporting database? It's a simple question, uh, and we get it a lot, but some people that are new to the industry or new to this concept have some questions about what are these and what is this? So broadly speaking, these are all concepts that describe the creation of a set of tables used for reporting and analysis which is separate from the data creation systems. Now, each one of these terms, a data warehouse, a data mart, or a reporting database have nuances and differences among them, but broadly, this is essentially what you're trying to accomplish. So you guys have data creation systems, every company does, maybe a CRM, operational systems, accounting, HR. These are systems that are used inside of your company. They generate, create data, house data, and lots of times you guys are gonna be trying to report across these systems, right? You want some data from the CRM and match it with the time clock or maybe with accounting and operational systems. So you create a lot of mess sometimes on trying to report and sometimes you're doing this manually, right? Trying to accomplish this in spreadsheets or whatnot. So essentially what you're doing for a data warehouse, a data market reporting database is that you're gonna take data from these creation systems and you're gonna apply some sort of logic to it, extract that data, you might use some tools with it, and you're gonna put it somewhere else that has a structure to support your reporting or your analysis, it's very simple. So a data mart might be a subset of a data warehouse, a reporting database might be smaller, whatever, but in general, these are the concepts that you're just moving data collating it and putting it into a form and a location that is just meant for reporting. So we're harvesting data from the creation systems and we put it all in one place. That way we can look at data across multiple systems. We apply logic to collect that data into a form that supports in reporting, meaning that we're going to apply some business rules. We might standardize some data, we might change it, we might help it merge it better, collate it better, but it's really meant to support the kind of reporting and analysis that your business is trying to get to. The tables and relations reflect the business. So maybe you have territories or you have specific rules and things that your business is unique and that your data is unique and you want to look at it that way so we apply in the relations and the table structures information in the structure that will support what you're trying to do with your business obviously once you do this the data becomes easier to access and use with reporting tools or analysis tools in that you can plug any tool onto this new database and it's not going to really affect what's going on underneath the uh, the system where it's being created and it also takes the burden of reporting and analysis off those creation systems so those systems were built to support a function of your business they have their own kind of thing going on and not necessarily there to do broad reporting and analysis across multiple things so thanks for your time real quick. I hope I gave you a high level view of what a data warehouse, data mart, and reporting database may refer to. In the subsequent videos, we're gonna go through why you do it, then we'll go through when you do it, and then the last one is kind of the steps and how you go about creating these things. So thanks again for your time.